hit the subscribe button. Press the bell icon for more updates. A Pakistani commando, shot dead by the Indian Army after he crossed the line of control in an attempt to behead Indian soldiers yesterday, was wearing a camera mounted to his head. NDTV has learned that senior army officers are studying the footage which may show the Pakistan border action team, BAT, crossing the line of control thereby disproving Pakistan's standard denial for any such action. The footage examined so far may include video of Pakistani training camps as well, sources have said. It is unclear at this stage whether the footage shows the entire gun battle with Indian Jawans who intercepted the Pakistani border action team when they were just 200 meters from an Indian army post. No decision has been taken so far on whether the government intends to release this footage in the public domain. Details are also emerging of how the terrorist whose body was recovered was likely to have been a serving soldier of the elite special services group, SSG. Commando Force of the Pakistan Army. According to sources in the Army, the Bat Group which entered India not far from the Shekhan Da Bay, crossing point between India and Pakistan in Poonch, was extremely well trained and the men were wearing military fatigues. Unlike terrorists who often shoot at security forces and flee, this Bat Group chose to hunker down and engage the Army in a firefight despite the fact that they had been spotted and were being fired at by Indian Jawans after being detected 600 meters within Indian territory. In this firefight, two Indian Jawans, Nick Jadav Sandip Sarjarao and Sepoy Main Sivan Baku, were killed by the Pakistani intruders. Two members of the six-man pack Bat were also killed and one of the bodies has now been recovered. After suffering losses, the Pakistani commando unit attempted to retrieve the bodies of their dead and injured team members before fleeing back across the line of control. Army sources say terrorists who come into Kashmir never attempt to do this and say that this act is a clear indicator of the involvement of a regular army unit who are trained never to leave a dead or injured fellow soldier behind enemy lines. Adds by Zinc. Neither is there any doubt about what the intention of the border action team was. A photo of the commando whose body has been retrieved shows the weapons he was carrying. This includes a braided knife and what appears to be a small sword. On May 1, another BAT team had crossed 250 meters across the line of control in Kashmir in the same sector and beheaded two Indian security personnel. Yesterday's BAT mission was the third attempt this year by Pakistani forces to mutilate Indian soldiers. Two of these attempts, including the one yesterday have failed after the Indian Army detected the Pakistani intrusion. Unlike other terrorist groups, BAT team members did not carry stores and supplies that they may require if they are to attempt infiltrating villages and towns in Kashmir. Instead, they come armed with just enough weaponry, including assault rifles, grenades, knives and swords to attack Indian Army patrols along the line of control before they return to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Mutilating Indian soldiers is an attempt at demoralizing Indian forces. NDTV has now been able to access a two-month-old photograph of a Pakistani border action team, perhaps the first such image released to the media. The photo accessed by NDTV shows a group of Pakistani soldiers wearing standard combat fatigues similar to what the border action team commandos involved in yesterday's operation were wearing. Army sources point out that the appearance and fighting ability of this border action team contrasts starkly with other terrorist groups operating in Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistani border action teams are manned by regular commandos of the Pakistani army including elite soldiers of SSG. Terrorists may be included within a bat squad, which usually has six members.